We're here at the parks today to do something that most people try to avoid. Wait on the rain. Now you may be wondering why we would choose to come to the parks on a day that it's supposed to rain. The fact is, here in Central Florida, it's likely to rain every day, especially during the summer months. Uh, you're, you're just gonna see showers. So some of you are sitting at home, you're looking at the forecast and you see that rain is forecasted for your entire trip. And a lot of times it's nothing to worry about. Sometimes those rain showers last 10, 15, maybe even 20 minutes and then they're gone. And that's all the rain that you'll see for the day. But there are gonna be days where it rains all day. It's like anywhere else in the world and that doesn't have to ruin your trip. Some of our favorite times in the parks have been on rainy days. So we figured we'd come over here today and show you guys how to make the most out of a rainy day at Universal. There is something that we always do at the parks when it's raining, and that is go to studios. If you're wondering why we come to studios, it's because there's a big difference in the attractions in each park. So over in Islands of Adventure, pretty much all of the attractions are outdoors, where it's the complete opposite over here at Universal Studios. So even if it's thunderstorming, almost all of the attractions in this park are going to stay open. The only exceptions are like Rip Ride Rocket and Twirl and Hurl, because those are the only outdoor attractions anymore. And if you think about Islands of Adventure, all of those outdoor attractions are going to close when it lightings. And even if it's just raining hard enough, a lot of the coasters will close down as well. The mass exodus is starting to happen. Everybody <laughs> is leaving. We just heard our first clap of thunder. Yes, um, it was we're a good one. Starting to get some sprinkles here and there, uh, and that's kind of what happens. People, uh, people spread out. People were supposed to leave a lot earlier because <laughs> the rain was supposed to start way early in the day. I know. So last night I checked the weather forecast. It said the rain was supposed to be here at like 11 today. I woke up this morning. It was like 12 to 1. When we got here, it was supposed to start between like 2 and 3. It's 4 o'clock. Um, and we're finally starting to get some rain, so you just can't trust it. I love how like it's obviously about to rain. Like the sky looks terrible. It's so ominous. Like you can hear the thunder. The wind. Yeah, like it's it's about to rain any minute now. But you know that it's not that close because when we walk past the merchandise, like the EP merchandise stands out there, they're still open and like there's probably somebody whose job it is they're just like sitting there they get a radar staring at it and then when it gets within like a certain distance of universal like they make the call and they're like close them close them down because they want to keep them open as much as possible so like people buy stuff but as soon as it starts raining they've got to shut them down so the stuff doesn't get ruined hold this until like a month ago that there was a point to that ride like you're supposed to be at the same height as like the faces of the people on the side so i won i got the best score even though they don't keep score we need to like come up with a scoring system with that but when i was getting in line one of the team members said to the other team member he was like man i just checked the radar and we're about to get an insane amount of rain you know how we were talking about the uh the weather forecast and them being wrong every once in a while we're sitting over here because it's hot. We got in the shade. Uh, it's, I mean, it looks like rain right there. It's thundering. You can probably hear the thunder, uh, but we're not going to get rain. Uh, it just keeps getting later and later. We keep getting, I keep getting like warnings on my watch too, that like it's about to rain any second. But if you're coming to the parks when it's supposed to rain, you probably have some type of rain gear with you. And if you're like us and you have a giant umbrella, it's not gonna fit in the lockers. Like obviously this doesn't fit in the free lockers. It also doesn't fit in any of the paid lockers. Like it's just way too big, but don't worry, you can still ride attractions. And we need to ask if this is like all attractions because we've personally done it at Men in Black and then I've seen people do it at a couple other ones. But basically what you do is when you're about to get on the ride, you just tell one of the attendants like, hey, I have this umbrella and they'll take it from you. And then when you get off the ride, you tell another attendant like, hey, somebody has my umbrella and I need it back. <laughs> and they'll ask you to describe it so they like get the right one if they've got multiple and then they'll bring it back to you. So that way you, you can ride rides. If you're more of a park person in a poncho um, named Pete. From Pennsylvania. Okay, now 
Now, now we're getting out of hands. I, I, I don't even remember what I was trying. Oh, ponchos, ponchos, ponchos. ponchos. So, like, if you if you're a person who likes to wear ponchos, um, you can't actually ride them on or wear them on any of the rides. You can on the water rides. Yeah. But outside of that, there is safety concern, and you may be wondering why I know that because we're not poncho people. Uh, y'all may recall a little donut challenge that Anna did, and I wasn't sure uh, what the result of that would be. I wasn't sure if you know there'd be. An incident. So I tried to wear a poncho on the Hulk because I really wanted that picture. Uh, it didn't work. Like they, they, they made me take it off and throw it away. <laughs> is this funny? Yeah, it is. Like I knew that we had tried at some point, but I would completely forgotten like why it was. You were worried about getting already chewed another, donut a, on another, you. Another pee to put on it. Yeah. <laughs> it took me so long to get that. I was trying to find where like the pee was in donut. Is puke. You meant puke. As if we needed any more reasons to love Diagon Alley. This place is perfect as is, but it's like it was made for the rain. So when you walk in that main like alleyway right there, it is beautiful when it rains. It feels like you're actually in London, so it makes it even more immersive than it already is. And then the second half, like this back half back here, it's covered. Like there's a roof over it. Most of it's clear, so like you may not even notice, but it's covered. So when it's raining, you can run around, you can do magic, you can enjoy the shops, you can get a butterbeer, and it doesn't even matter that it's raining. Is it finally gonna rain? I guess so. About time. Also, butterbeer lines are too short. Line for ice cream's too short. It's too dangerous to be in here. We've got to go. We were so excited about the rain. Probably the only people that were excited about it. It stopped. I mean, that's kind of par for the course for Florida, right? Uh, they all the time. It's like we were talking about at the beginning. They call for rain. It doesn't rain. If they don't call for rain, it it might rain. I, I think I'd be more worried if you're coming down here and it's like it's going to be beautiful the entire <laughs> week. I, <laughs> like, I, I love how like the forecast last night was literally like. 12 straight hours of rain, like 11 to 11, 100% chance. It's like two inches. Yeah, is it one to two inches of rain? It's 540. It's 542 to be exact. It's sprinkled twice today. If you're coming to the parks, especially if you're only coming for like one or two days and rain is forecasted during your trip, you're obviously not going to want to spend your entire trip over here in Universal Studios. So our suggestion would be to go to Islands of Adventure first thing in the morning. So just like today, it was supposed to rain all day long. It's after five o'clock and the rain still hasn't hit. So most days it may not be delayed that far, but you should have plenty of time to get at least quite a few things done over in Islands of Adventure before the rain sets in. And then you can make your way over to studios and enjoy everything here. I'm gonna go do some investigative work. I'm gonna go ask the mummy people what I do with this if I wanna ride it. She said it was the exact same as Men in Black. And she also said that pretty much all of the attractions do this because they don't have any locker anywhere on property that's big enough to hold these. But with that being said, we would recommend trying not to bring umbrellas this size. We kind of have to, to keep all, like both of us and the camera gear dry, but we don't ride any rides when we bring these most of the time because we feel bad like making them deal with them and hold them off to the side. So we would suggest sticking with like the little collapsible ones that will fit in a locker. What is it? Collapsible? Oh, collapsible? Yeah, so how, how did that go? How do you collapse them? Like that. You know what? At this point, I don't want it to rain. I'm just gonna play that game. Like, oh, I don't, I don't want it to rain now. I think they got it completely wrong. Kind of sad. Uh, obviously it's raining a little bit, but I was hoping by kind of daring it to rain that it would really start pouring. I don't know why we're wishing rain on ourselves so much, but we would like to see it. We were talking, and another thing that makes this park so good, as far as like a rainy day park, is the shows. So they have three indoor shows if you include animal actors, and all of them are a great way, like they're, they're all longer, right? So if you're wanting to see like a, one of those quick showers that we were talking about earlier, if you're wanting to see a show, it's a great time to do that. And honestly, by the time you get out of there, it's liable to already be done raining. Also, this park has two sit-down restaurants. So you have Finnegan's and Lombard's where you could go and get out of the rain. And the great thing about those is as long as it's not, um, you know, St. Patrick's Day, they typically have <laughs> walk-ups available. I'll tell you what, I am so confident that it's just not gonna rain that hard. Uh, 
that I'll make a bet with you. Okay. If it rains really hard, now like, you know, that's subjective, but you know what really hard is. I um, agree. I will get on a water ride. Okay. If it doesn't, you've got to like, go make it look like it rained real hard and go get on a water ride. <laughs> As long as we can go home afterwards, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. The, the park's closed in like an hour, so yeah, <laughs> we, can, we can go home afterwards. We gotta go to Target after this. Look how beautiful it is. Look at the sun behind you. It's like poking out. It looks wonderful. Come on, lightning, shut the, shut the rides down. <laughs> I feel like the weather channel owes me an apology. I just checked the radar and like it was supposed to rain all night. There's rain all around us, but there's just like an empty hole right where Universal is. That right there is just like the story of our day. Clouds, lightning, no rain. go. I just got ridiculously lucky. This ride is on weather delay along with pretty much everything else in islands because apparently there's lightning in the area and the storms are headed this direction. There's only like 45 minutes before the park closes so team members said it's uh, pretty unlikely that they reopen it tonight. That was an emotional roller coaster, like whether I was gonna ride that or not. But I did realize that we should probably talk about shoes. So oh, yeah. if you're coming to the parks to ride water rides, or if there's a chance of like a torrential downpour, you might want to wear shoes that are water friendly. So like today, I wore my chacos that are perfectly comfortable to walk around in, even if they get soaking wet. Uh, tennis shoes may not be the best choice, but. Tyler wore his today, and socks. we just packed extra socks. Socks, so, lots of socks. Yes, lots pack of extra socks, socks cuz what you don't want to do is walk around with like soaking wet shoes and socks all day. It's, it's like, a recipe for blisters. It's like my least favorite thing in the world is wet socks. You don't understand how disappointed I am. I was so excited about going to Target and getting a shot of you. What? And of course, the rain starts right about now. Um, <laughs> like we're about to walk out of the park. And the rain picks up. Uh, this just goes to show you, don't worry about the forecast. Uh, <laughs> this is like the perfect example. We were really wanting this to be a video of us like playing around in the rain, like showing you what to do in the rain. It didn't work out like that because um, you just don't need to worry about the forecast, especially well in advance. But thanks for hanging out. Um, we're sorry we didn't get wet. I'm really sorry Anna didn't get wet. But if you guys want to check out some mistakes that you might be making, when you're visiting the parks, check out this video right here. But thanks for hanging out, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.